Hey everybody, Wingapo. Welcome to Raid Rachel from Twitch. Uh, we are live. <laughs> yeah. I did my makeup today. I think it's like the sixth day in a row. That's like a lot for me. But I'm a workaholic and I've been, oh, I'll give you the link. For plausible cosmetics. Um, I was stupid today and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna put on foundation because I'm using tape. So I put on powder instead and then I like took it off with the tape. And I also put my blush really high. I saw it and that came off too. I saw it in a Jamie French video. She was talking about like makeup from the 80s and how people put their blush like up here. It feels so good. I like that. I don't know. Like, does that happen with your face if you're blushing? Does it go like up to, to your eye? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like, I mean, like I have blushed before. I usually don't see it in the mirror though. So I don't really know what it looks like. Uh, yeah, let's play some long game. I get an old fox eye. Foxy lady. Okay, let's see if this uh, captures. Yes, I did. I was gonna wear my hair like this today. I did the uh, Jersey Shore stuff with the. I used the hydrating part and the. I use a suave conditioner. Uh, it's like a cocoa butter one. I guess if you're gonna use conditioner, you might as well go all the way. I just don't like it. Like I like combing through it, and it feels so soft in the shower. But like people haven't been using conditioner for very long, like as a society. And like, I feel like it just kind of weighs your hair down. I guess like I grew up in the 90s and people were all about like volume. The volume in your hair, which means that like, um, when you, like this is the opposite of volume, see how it's flat? Like that's when you use like a round brush with a hair dryer and you, you get it to go like, you want the roots to go like up and like over. These are the ends of your hair. This is the root of your hair, like the part that's on your head up and over so you want it to be like poofy like Tiffany Amber Nielsen when she has like her hair like that or like it kind of splits a little bit so I am stuck in one decade maybe two decades so um so I'm wearing conditioner today so my hair is like gonna be flat but it doesn't look that flat so far it's kind of for conditioner maybe they'll do some conditioner now Maybe not. <laughs> I feel like it, it's like duty though to like use conditioner. I don't know. Like I like it like nice and squeaky clean and like sticky and like yeah. I feel like like I like it like frizzy and big and like I feel like it's shinier with that conditioner. I feel like conditioner makes it like matte instead of glossy. <laughs> Some things I really like matte, some things I like glossy, apparently. I'm covering my fox eye with my hat, but that's okay. I have a bow lip. I use the chunky uh, eyeliner. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Let's go to a random spot. If you are in college, what time is it? If you're in college, some people's weekends are just starting. But that's usually when my weekend started in, at uh, Barnard at noon on Thursday. <laughs> that was always fun. Not today though. 
is I mean, like, I was talking on social media this week though, about how I really don't have a concept of work though. Like, everything is just on social media. So, um. Like, even cleaning is so much fun. Like, um. Like, you get to see what you wipe off, and that's really gross. And you're like, eww, that's so gross! That's funny. I wonder if I go to a random spot and they just go home. <laughs> and then afterwards, like the whole like atmosphere just changes. You feel like you're in a different climate after you clean, you know? It feels so good. That's fun too. And then you take the trash out with all the uh the dirt in it, and then you feel like really accomplished. And accomplishment is fun too. Though. But yeah, it's gonna be the weekend soon. So this is fun. <laughs> I get to go live, which is fun, because I'd love to be uh, on TV again someday. I mean, like, I feel like people are like, oh, like, there are not, like, many virtual audiences left anymore, so you don't get to be on TV anymore, unless you do a virtual audience in person. Which I feel is, like, quite a schlep. Um... So that's sad, but, but really, my friend was telling me you did all the good ones, and you did it one time so other people have a chance, and it's on your resume, and, um, and people are always like, oh, well, like, every day that passes, it's, like, more in the past, so it's not recent, and it's like, yeah, but I'm not a mom, it's not like I'm out of the workforce, <laughs> and I'm, like, returning to the workforce. Is that cool? Oh, it's not that long. It's something cool. I want to see where they go. That's a nice one, though. <laughs> I don't like Marvel hood. <laughs> I wonder if they'll walk to the Maddox. That'd be nice. <laughs> if it's a full drop there. <laughs> Ooh, the third door. Yep. Writing articles is a lot of fun. Because you get to like express yourself. <laughs> Come back. And now I remember the gold room is the third door up there because we we took that out of our uh, memorization thing. And you get to share it with everybody. You get to be on the internet. Maybe you get to change the world a little bit. That's fun. <laughs> Kids get to reference it in their essays. Gardening for work is fun. Even spreading mulch is fun. I mean, we had so much fun spreading mulch. Oh, this is fun. Um. Do you want to pick a floor or do you want to see where I want to walk? Um, spreading mulch is a lot of fun, even though it's like repetitive and um, sometimes mulch can smell bad. I love the smell of mulch. Um, of all mulches. Um, but you get to like hang out with all your co-workers and shoot the breeze. 
and you feel really accomplished afterwards. That's nice. And then you get really strong. <laughs> Wrinkle heaven again. I don't know, like name one one work activity that's not fun. Right in the chat. <laughs> I guess one thing that I don't like is like recycling. Because <laughs> my friend told me that like um, recycling is like a conspiracy, like they just throw it out or something. Like, I mean, like, I've, I have, I've had, like, a lot of blue-collar friends. I have never met anybody who's, because, like, blue-collar people are always talking about work, and, like, um, I've never met anyone who was working for a recycling plant. <laughs> Let's see. Or who was, like... Because, I mean, like, they, they talk about, like, where they're getting their supplies and, like, what jobs they're going to do and, like, never, I've never heard anybody work or, like, being like, oh, how much do they pay or, like. Because, um, like, in this town, we combine all of our recycling, like, um plastic and um, aluminum and glass and then supposedly someone it's all taken somewhere where someone sorts it and puts glass with glass and um, plastic with plastic and aluminum with aluminum never heard of anyone having that book they, I, I've heard they just throw it out so <laughs> I live with some with a roommate one time who was like we're not recycling <laughs> I was like okay like Ooh, this thing where you end up if you just follow your nose. What's this place? Let's let's put this somewhere. Let's put it here. Oh, I think we've been here before. What? Let's put the stairs. So we had um, contractor bags, and we put trash in it, and we put metal, and we put glass, we put everything in there. <laughs> Can I pick that up? I just need it. Oh, you can open it. Ooh! Found a book. That's cool. Does any of this splint? I wonder what book it is. What book do you want it to be? Um, right in the chat. <laughs> On the door. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's keep walking. See how far this place goes. 